So welcome to another episode of Just Miss Garage. So this time what we want to talk about is LS motors and pressure lubing in LS motor, but actually these details will also work just as well for a mod motor or a, or a late model Gen 3 Hemi. Uh, it, basically any engine that doesn't have a distributor. So how do you pressure lube an engine if it doesn't have a distributor? Well, we'll show you a couple of little tricks and there's a whole bunch of parts back here in the background we'll show what all this stuff is about. So if you want to try and pressure lube an LS motor without any custom tools or anything, this is a, a quick way to get by doing it. The, the standard procedure is you fill this engine full of oil and then pull the spark plugs out and use the starter motor to spin the engine over. The problem is, is that because the oil pump on an LS motor is at the front of the crankshaft and the pickup is right here, you can see this distance, a lot of times it won't pull the oil up and prime the pump. If that doesn't happen, you can spin this thing for a week and it's never going to make oil pressure. <clears throat> so I got this little tip from Mellings where they say pull this plug out of the main galley plug right here and stick a rubber hose in here with a short little length of hose and a, and a, and a funnel and then just pour a little bit of oil from into the funnel and into the, we're just going to pour a little bit in there. You can pour probably a little bit more, maybe six or eight ounces. Um, put the cap on so I don't spill over the floor and then let that drain. What that does, it fills the cavity of the oil pump and now essentially it's primed. So now we just pull the rubber plug out and of course it's going to puke all over the place and then tighten this up and then spin the engine over with the starter motor and chances are you'll have oil pressure inside of probably 10-15 seconds. So that's a quick way to do it. Now we're going to show you a little more sophisticated way. So let's show you now a little homemade tool that I came up with. Uh, it's, it's a little bit sophisticated, but not bad. Probably took me uh, three-fourths of a day to build this whole thing. So I went down to the hardware store, bought a little plastic bucket. I got two aluminum plates that I sandwiched the plastic lid, and I did that to support a small block pump that I bolted to the lid. And then this is the outlet. This is the pressure outlet on the pump. So I tap this with pipe tap. So now I've got a, a dash six AN fitting coming off of that that comes off of here and I hook a pressure line to it off of one fitting. And then on the other, on the pump, I inserted the pickup into the pump and then, and then cut the, the tubing right here and extended it with a piece of 5 8 hose, just heater hose, and extended it down. So now the pickup is at the bottom of this, this bucket and put about six, seven quarts of oil in here. Now I've got a pump and a pickup and I've got pressure going into the engine, but I wanted to have a full circuit. So that way it would, the oil would return back to here and I could keep pressure lubing because sometimes to pressure lube, fully lube the motor with all oil coming out of all the push rods might take a minute or two or even longer to do. So what I did was I made a fitting, adapted the oil drain black plug, pulled it out, cut a hole, a drill a hole, tapped it, and made it for a dash six AN line. And that connects to my return line, which then returns back to the bucket. So now, once I hook all that up, and we'll show you all the fittings to hook it up with, it needs a couple of special AN fittings, uh, custom AN fittings, that you can buy from somebody like Earl's or Summit. And uh, once you have the connections all done, then you just take an electric drill motor and plug this into the oil pump, drive right there, and spin oil pressure up, you generate pressure almost immediately, and, uh, and then you'll pressure lube the motor in a matter of a couple minutes. Okay, so now we've got this all configured. This is our pressure side coming off of the pump. Our drive is right here that we'll drive with the electric motor. This is our return off of the oil pan back into the tank. So now what we're gonna do is take this oil small block Chevy drive shaft, hook it up to the pump, spin the pump at clockwise, and uh, you'll see the pressure come up on the gauge. Pressure on the gauge. And you can run this at any speed you want. And then eventually what you're going to be looking for is oil coming out of the push rods. And this may take a minute, a minute and a half. We won't run it the entire time, but we will show you a tight shot of the oil coming out of the rocker arms. Once you've got oil coming out of all the rocker arms, you're good to go. Okay, so if making all that stuff is really not something you want to do, then there's another option. Summit makes this little uh, pressure luber assembly. Uh, it's a two and a half gallon tank. Put five or six or seven quarts in this thing. There's a tube at the bottom that goes all the way to the bottom. You fill 
the tank right here, it's a sealed tank. Then you pressurize this thing with a pressure. You see we've got about 40 PSI in there right now. And then all you do is hook this line up to the pressure lube side or the pressure side on the engine. And then just flip this valve and the pressure will push it through your engine. This will lube the mains, the rods, and the lifters because actually the LS motors lube through the lifters first. Uh, it probably won't make it all the way up to the rocker arms, but the, the motor is lubed and then it will fire and it will have instant oil pressure. So uh, when you go to start the engine. So um, that's a quick and easy way to do it. And it's a simple thing to store. You know, it doesn't have a big bucket laying around. So um, if, uh, if you like what we're doing here at Jeff Smith's Garage, just uh, ring the bell, subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll keep cranking out these videos for you.